If we look a little bit uh, on the software side, we have this uh, RaceHop software that we developed. Um, as you can see uh, on the left, we have steering wheel, we have wheelbase, we have gear shifts, we have displays, we have handbrakes, we have motion. That shows a little bit about our plans here at Ace Tech Sim Sports. We want to be, a, let's say, a full provider of, uh, of everything. So the, the, the pedals are really just the, the beginning. Now that I actually push the, the pedal on the real pedals, you will be able to see it in our software. One thing that is, um, I think, a really good feature for Sim Sports users that is not really needed in the real life, or it shouldn't be needed in the real life, is that we have dead zones in the top and we have dead zones in the bottom. So what is a dead zone? If we look at the, the throttle here, instead of squeezing the throttle really hard at all times, if you are doing a long race, you can put in a dead zone and then it's actually easier to reach 100. And if you have the bad habit, which you shouldn't have really, but if you have the bad habit of resting your foot on the brake pedal, we can take this uh, out. Here now I've applied 8% um, dead zone. And as you can see, you can see in the bottom of the screen that I'm actually pushing the pedal. But if you look at the percentage, I'm not really applying brakes. So that means that you can actually rest your foot on it if you want to. As you can see, it's measured in percentage. That's because the game reads uh, your throttle in percentage. But if you calibrate, you can see now we are measuring in bars. When I do it with my foot or with my hand here, you can see now I'm reaching 17 bars. So why is that? Well, that's because we want to do it as in a real race car. So let you say, let's say that you are a Formula 4 driver and in your real race car, uh, your race engineer tells you to break 100 bars. Then you go back now in your simulator and you want to practice the real deal. But how do you then know if you uh, apply the right pressure or not? Well, that's easy because in our system here, you now hold down your foot until you reach 100 bar. Then you say complete. And then over here now, the 100% would actually equal 100 bars. So this can really be used as a very intelligent uh, training tool. So if we look at the pedal maps, uh, pedal maps another thing we did, uh, you can enable it or not, of course, is uh, we have made uh, programmable uh, maps, both uh, for the clutch, the brake and the throttle. So what is that? If we look at GT3 race car next to me, it has probably a 600 horsepower V10 engine. And if you press the throttle 50%, for example, in the rain, you don't really want the butterfly or the intake at the car to be at 50%. So you can program your own curves here, just as an example, that when here you move the brake pedal, so let's say now it's 50% and you can see it's a linear curve, I say, okay, I want a more uh, or less aggressive. So now you can see, now I actually need to press the pedal 70% to be at 60% uh, butterfly opening in the engine. And that's something we can do both on the brake and the, the throttle maps. That's a, that's a really nice and really useful uh, feature. And I can tell you that in a real race car, the throttle mapping that I just showed you, or, or the, the example, is real. It's, it's really rare that you have a linear relation between uh, throttle position uh, and the butterfly opening in the car. Another cool feature, literally, is the, the LED display, uh, or sorry, the LED bar in, in the pedals here. It's uh, RGB, so if you want it purple, you get it purple. If you want it green, you want it green. And if you're a real hardcore racer and say, I don't want LED, no problem then we just turn the LED off. Or perhaps a more likely example, your girlfriend is trying to sleep in the room where you have your simulator, so that now you can turn off the, the LED. 